Blair Saxon Hill, and I work at Cross Medium. I just recently work, uh, moved to LA, and we're currently in my exhibition at Shrine Gallery. This piece is called Spa Day, and it was the last piece I made while in residence at Haley Barker's studio here in LA. And part of the work from the exhibition was made in LA, about a third. And this um, piece really uh, is about me preparing for the opening and that idea of sort of coming out of the artist's body and self of being grungy in the studio and that idea of preparing for the world and one that is very much sort of of a piece of an LA person of like getting your nails done, getting a facial and all that, but also um, a more private relationship to this work is I personally own an, a painting called Retirement and um, it's a painting that a man made, an outsider artist made of his retirement and that idea to me of one painting rest um, but being active and doing it is sort of that, that irony and, um, and particularly that artists never retire is how I think of being an artist and um, so this idea of like this kind of decadence is very much um, not what's happening while I'm making it. The title of the show is Spirits, Queens, Dogs, and Flowers. And this painting came from composing a bouquet from the LA Flower Market. It's entitled This Year's Garden. And so these paintings come about in several different ways. In this case, it's a still life essentially that I'm painting, looking directly at something. But quite often, I'm just going about and take, looking at the surface and responding to maybe marks made from creating a solid color ground that I somehow imagine an image coming through. And that, in that way, when I see the image, it feels more like I'm almost just tracing something that is already there, but in fact, it's just a blank canvas. So um, this one's called Spring Queen, and this is part of the drag queen um, element of the show. Um, we have flower mustache, Agnes, is just another queen, another kind of wildflower. And when I got to LA, I was just so struck by the way the flowers were the almost fantastical and un they were so unusual and I just really wanted to paint things that I hadn't ever seen before. Um, quiet Peacock and the beach, and the beach is uh, made when I got to Santa Monica, driving down from Portland with all of my painting gear in the car, get to the beach, look around and see all these bodies almost posing, ready to be painted, and it was really inspiring just to see figures with such blank landscape. The beach here is so vastly different than the Oregon coast. This one's called Spring Arrangement, and again, is from the flower bouquet that I composed. And this one is one that I made in Portland, and it's called Shelter Line, and it's my Portland studio is around the corner from a, a homeless shelter, and which has a long line, and so that part of my daily um, vision and going into the studio was being amongst a lot of homeless people and that experience juxtaposed with suddenly going in to paint. Oh. Um, at times the work gets very almost sculptural in mark making and um, because I am such a physical maker and I respond to material um, as a sculptor that kind of, that language of the materiality of paint is something that also comes across sometimes in the paintings themselves, like in this way that where I'm like carving in this smile into the work. There's only one work that is a portrait, and it's this one. And these are two artists that live here in LA, um, Chase and Antonia, and they were just recently married. Chase shows at the pit, and they were just recently married, and this is a sort of a a joke and that they're not smiling and it's called the newlyweds. These last two paintings here on the, um, these large works are indicative of what will be shown at Shrine in November 
and uh, in that that show will be all large works. So this one's called The Orange Tree. Again, being from Oregon, I was so struck by these magical orange balls in the sky and wanted to um, make a piece about that. And there's sort of like the idea of a game happening here as if this person is about to play some sort of game. And this is like a, a, a rag to begin the game and call the finish line. And this one really um, speaks to the fabric collage works that I've been making for several years where I'm cutting large swaths of patterned fabric and composing images to make figurative works. Um, and this one, I am now kind of liberated to make my own patterns. And so you see pattern on pattern on pattern.